Chapter 3 The Degrees of Freedom Problem If we're highly variable creatures that can move almost an infinite numbers of ways, how do we decide which way to move? He introduces two main ideas in this chapter. We have the GMP, the Generalized Motor Programming. It's going to be a top-down hierarchy that breaks our system up into pieces. Okay, so you, I see a chair. It looks sittable. Okay, I'm perceiving the chair. Then maybe I skip to cognition. I start collecting information about the chair. How tall is the chair? You know, how, you know, is there a slant to the, the back of the chair? How far away is the chair? And then it goes to the next one. The motor commands, I have to bend, you know, your brain will just do this. I, I don't want to use degrees and numbers, but I bend my knees like this. I sit like this. And then you carry out the command. Okay, so it's in pieces. And if you mess up somewhere, you can go to that level on wherever you messed up at and address that issue. GMP. Now, we have the self-organization theory that's going to couple, right? It combines our perception and our action. The whole system is just one thing. It's embodied, right? And we organize our actions and our perception around specifying information. So we'll go back to the chair. I see a chair, it looks sittable. Whatever I need in my system to help me sit on the sittable surface will get involved in this process, and then I go sit. He compares these theories to a business model. Right with GMP, you have the top-down business model. You got the CEO, the presidents, vice presidents, general managers, managers, laborers. And when the command is issued out and it gets messed up somewhere, you go to whatever level it messed up at and you can address that issue. And then with the self-organization theory, we are all laborers. And there's something we want to accomplish and will any laborers who will help you accomplish that task with that information that you're picking up will get involved. Chapter four tomorrow.